The meeting will come to order. I note that a quorum is present and that each member has before them copies of the material on our agenda today and at their place on the rostrum. Good morning and thank you for joining me for this business meeting. The rules of the U.S. House of Representatives require each committee to adopt an oversight plan and to submit it to the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform and the Committee on House Administration by February 15. The oversight plan proposed today was prepared in consultation with Ranking Member Peterson and sets forth the agenda for this committee during the 113th Congress. The plan does not limit in any way the matters we may decide to examine at a later date but rather highlights key policy issues in our jurisdiction to make, certain program, make sure certain programs are running efficiently and responsibly. One of these policy areas is the state of the rural economy. We plan to hold our first hearing in two weeks to examine this issue. This will entail not only evaluating how our producers are faring since experiencing our historic drought, and in some areas of the country a multi-year drought, but also measuring the competitiveness of rural economies. Another matter of oversight will be making sure that the one-year extension of the 2008 Farm Bill is implemented in a way that provides producers with certainty for the 2013 crop year. The committee will also continue to provide rigorous oversight of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and its implementation of the Dodd-Frank Act. Legislatively, the committee will continue to introduce and pass legislation that will protect end users, our nation's farmers, ranchers, and businesses, from disruptions in their operations caused by a flood of new CFTC rules and regulations. Another important focus of the committee will be reauthorization of the CFTC. We must ensure that the commission is overseeing the derivatives markets in a responsible manner that provides stringent oversight and affords strong protections to customers of those markets. Finally, we'll continue our efforts from the, past, uh, from the last Congress to ensure that our agricultural producers are not burdened with unreasonable and costly regulations. Our oversight plan for this Congress is comprehensive, balanced, and reflects the bipartisan nature in which this committee operates. I encourage you to support it, and I look forward to working with you uh, on these important issues. I now yield to the ranking member, Mr. Peterson, for an opening uh, statement. Good morning, and uh, thank you, Chairman, uh, for holding this meeting. As the uh, committee's oversight plan shows, there is much work ahead for us in this Congress, so I look forward to working with the committee um, and co my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to see that we are properly overseeing programs under our jurisdiction, both at USDA and CFTC. I'm also looking forward to considering a new farm bill, which I uh, think um, what should happen we can get to after we uh, deal with all these budget issues that are coming up in the next couple months. Uh, I've had some recent conversations with the speaker, and, uh, you know, I'm um, a little more optimistic, and uh, he seems to want to work with us to get this done this year. So, um, again, I thank the chair, uh, urge approval of the oversight plan along with the committee ratios and the committee staff, and yield back. Gentleman yields back. The first order of business is the committee oversight plan. Pursuant to Clause 2D1 of House Rule 10, the committee must adopt an oversight plan and submit a copy simultaneously to the House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform and the Committee on House Administration no later than February 15, 2013. I should also note that this plan has been prepared in full cooperation with the majority and minority staffs and distributed to members' offices in advance of the meeting. Uh, without objection, the committee oversight plan is adopted and will be forwarded to the responsible committees as required by House rules. Is there any objection to uh, that? Seeing no objection, so ordered. The next item of business is an amendment to the committee rules for the 113th Congress, and I would like to recognize counsel for a brief explanation of the changes in the, uh, to be considered. Counsel? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The on block amendment amends the committee rules adopted by the committee on January 23rd to include the roster ratios of the several subcommittees for the 113th Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Counsel. I think that's self explanatory. Uh, without objection, or seeing no objection, uh, the amendment is adopted and pursuant to Committee Rule 12, the rules of the Committee for Agriculture for the 113th Congress, as amended, will be published in the Congressional Record to reflect those changes. Finally, pursuant to Clause 9 of Rule 10, there is at each member's desk a copy of the majority, minority, and nonpartisan committee staff assignments that, without objection, will be adopted by the committee. 
Seeing no objection, so ordered. Seeing no further matters on the agenda, the committee will now adjourn subject to the call of the chair. Thank you very much for attending today.